Glycolysis means sugar splitting. So when we think of glycolysis, we're starting off with glucose, although we do have entry points for other sugars. Now glucose is a six carbon sugar and it's getting oxidized in this process. There's 10 steps in glycolysis, but we're just gonna think of it as in two parts at the moment. So the first part of glycolysis is an energy investment. And this is common in metabolism where sometimes our first steps, we need an energy input. So the first part of glycolysis, we go from being six carbons. These are split into two, three carbon molecules. And in that process, we have two ATP that need to be put into the system. And they get, that gets hydrolyzed into two ADP plus our two inorganic phosphates. Now these two three carbon molecules are isomers of each other and they can move in between by an isomerase. And after that, we have our energy payoff phase, which is down here. So here is our payoff. And that is where we recoup or get back the energy that we put in up the top. As we go through the rest of the steps of glycolysis, what we end up with is pyruvate. And pyruvate is another three carbon molecule. And along here, these are the different things that we get. We actually get in different steps two ATP being produced from our two ADP plus inorganic phosphate. And we also get electrons transferred. So we have electrons transferred onto electron carrier to give us NADH. So we have NAD plus. And here's our pair of electrons. So remember as glucose is oxidized, those electrons are being transferred onto our electron carrier to give us NADH. And we're also getting two ATP being produced. If you look here, from our six carbons, we split into two three carbon molecules. One of them comes across here, so it's changed back into this isomer. And then this part of the reaction, the payoff phase, occurs twice. So that means in glycolysis, in this first part here, if we look at our accounting, we are minus two ATP. And then down the bottom here, we are plus two times two ATP. And we also have two NADH. So in that reaction, what we get is a total of two ATP being produced and two NADH. And NADH is important because it can ultimately be used to power production of further ATP and oxidative phosphorylation. Pyruvate has other fates. It can be further oxidized by aerobic metabolism. So it can enter, goes on to be further oxidized in the TCA cycle or anaerobically. So in anaerobic conditions, it goes to lactate. Now this reaction is performed by an enzyme called lactate dehydrogenase. The purpose of this reaction is to provide us with NAD+, which is needed to keep glycolysis going. So in this reaction here, our NADH is reoxidized to give us our NAD+. And that NAD plus can be then used in glycolysis to be reduced to NADH.